name's Sarah Alba and I graduated in 2011. I work for Manhattan Legal Services. I'm doing a project, it's a sort of a mixed consumer and employment project, working to help low-income New Yorkers who are being denied jobs because of either criminal history or poor credit history. One of the ways that Penn Law is very helpful for people who want to do public interest is that after your first year you have an open curriculum so you can really devote yourself to anything that you want to. So, you know, I took a civil practice clinic, which has been very helpful in my work now because it taught me how to interview clients, how to work with clients, how to sort of take a client's view into perspective when you're making legal decisions. I also did an externship while at Penn where I worked three days a week doing employment discrimination work, which has helped me now to understand sort of what the law is and um, what my clients' rights are. I think the thing that's important and this is true actually for any law career, is choosing where you want to work your second summer and making sure that by that point you, you sort of know your direction. By the time I was applying for a second summer job, I knew that I probably wanted to do a fellowship when I graduated, so I was looking at places that I could get fellowships with. I knew I wanted to do civil legal services. I wasn't sure exactly um, which area, but so I applied to, you know, Lot of civil legal services organizations with the goal of getting a fellowship, which is what I end up, ended up doing. And then also just taking advantage of all the opportunities the school gives you to do public, public interest work. So, you know, Penn has a lot of clinics. Obviously the pro bono requirement gives people a chance to start doing public service work from 1L year. And then there's also great externships that gives people the opportunity to actually work in an organization for an entire semester as basically a you know, part-time employee.